My buddy Dave Martin is here, and he's uh, videotaping. Because we're gonna. This is a long and uh, not so funny story, but uh, I hope you indulge. The story begins with uh, I've got raccoons in my ceiling. Yes, raccoons have infested my, my home into the walls, and now they're scratching at the bedroom ceiling of my bedroom. I notice that they're there because I hear them walking around, and then they burrow, and they scratch. And it's just like the most, you know when you see horror movies, you know, and people are like, wake out of a nightmare, and they go, ah! I do that like eight times a night, you know, that's what, and I'm thinking, that can't be more creepy, and then I thought, oh, what would be more creepy is if the raccoons sang in children's voices. <laughs> that would fuck my head up. The story of this is that uh, I called the raccoon uh, exterminator guy, and uh, he came and did an inspection and found out there was no holes, like he couldn't find where the raccoon is getting in and out. So he said, uh, there's not much I can do. And I said, well, can't we set a trap for it? And he said, uh, yeah, but there's laws, because uh, apparently there's a, a vicious strain of rabies going around, so they can't dislocate uh, the raccoon more than one kilometer away from where they caught it. So he said, I could trap it, but then it'll be back in the afternoon. So I said, okay, let's trap it and kill it. And he said, no, there's laws against that. So then I found out the raccoon has more rights than I do. Uh, so I went down to the home hardware and found a raccoon trap. Yeah! <laughs> so I bring it and I set it up on my deck where I've seen them before and I baited it with uh, pepperoni. Uh, <laughs> who doesn't love pepperoni? <laughs> who doesn't love pepperoni? <laughs> but when I rented it out, the guy told me, he said, now keep in mind, when you trap a raccoon, it screams like a child being gutted. <laughs> I don't have that frame of reference. I don't know what you're doing when you're off time. So the next morning I wake up and I'm like, oh, and I look out, there's a fucking raccoon in the trap, yeah, right on. I go downstairs, make a pot of coffee, I come back out, there's a bigger raccoon beside the, the cage going, Aww. he's got his girlfriend in there, oh, now he's sad. So now this is a big decision, so I called Dave over and I said, Dave, what do we do? <laughs> so we... I still really want to drown it. Because I think we're just passing on problems. So how long do you think that would take to drown it? Five minutes. Yeah. Are you for drowning it? Not for drowning it, yeah. Well, let's do it. Like, I would rather release it somewhere, but I'm not against drowning it either. Christina, I'm for drowning the raccoon. No, you're not for drowning the Because I think it's going to stink up its car. It's going to, yeah, it's going to be a real we can't, you smelly can't, nightmare. You can't. It's Why not? And it's bad news. You can't just drown shit. Who says? It's not done! Think of all the mice we've killed. They're smaller. This is so horrifying! Uh. Imagine what's gonna happen when you put it in the trunk. Yeah, it'll freak out in the trunk, eh? So but it'll be in the trunk and we'll be in the car. I think we should put it in the trunk. I'm for drowning it just because it'll make a better movie. <laughs> you could go to jail for that, and I'm how? not even joking. No, yeah, you could. if you kill it. Look how much trouble they had just getting it down here. How are you going to drown it? You're going to feel bad afterwards. Yeah, I'm going to feel bad, but... <laughs> but... Do we set it free, or do we drown it? What do we do? Do we drown this thing? Do we, uh... So we filled a garbage can full of water, <laughs> and then the, everybody standing around go, yeah, exactly, that's the face. Don't fucking do it. I'm calling my grandmother. <laughs> Granny? I'm calling for your advice because we've got a garbage can full of uh, water and we're going to drown it or else uh, my friend Dave's got his car and we can uh, drive it somewhere. So what do you think we should do? You say drive it somewhere? Yeah. Woo, Grandma! Didn't you trap a skunk one time? Uh, you trapped a dog by accident. <laughs> Bye. She said release it at a dump. I fall off my chair And I'm wondering how I'll get
head down the stairs Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right Here I am, stuck in the middle with you Yes, I'm Okay, you ready? <laughs> There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. And I think that's the end of the raccoon story. But uh, <laughs> there's a big one still miranding around, and I don't know what to do with it, so. Until tomorrow, you know I'm free to roam So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat and we'll travel like that's almost star Maybe tomorrow, I want to settle down Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow